Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hello. My name is Giselle, nice to meet you. I have never done a video like this before, but I'm gonna jump right into it. As you probably read by the title, I am gonna be doing a review on my Mr. Coffee iced coffee machine. I'm gonna bring her over here. This is what she looks like. I got this for Christmas and the box is like gone but I'll put a picture of what it's supposed to look like in case you were wondering. I'm pretty sure that it comes in like a bunch of different colors. I don't really know. It's got this little like switch here where you can choose whether you want to continue spilling out your coffee or you want to stop it and on the side it's got the little start button. It's pretty tiny and it's really light. So if you don't work out like me, this is perfect for you. She's kind of dirty because I kind of tested her out a few days ago and I was like, film this, film this because while I was kind of doing my research on this, I literally saw no reviews on it, like none. And there was a video by like the actual company, but I kind of wanted some more insight on it and like see what other people thought. And now that I've tried it out, I'm here to share. It comes with a manual, user manual, and then it comes with like a shorter version of instructions on like how to use it. And then it just gives you a bunch of different recipes. For example, there's like low carb coffee, caramel pumpkin pie iced coffee, vanilla sweet cream, opens up. You basically just get a whole lot of like different ways to again drink your iced coffee. My absolute favorite thing is that it literally comes with this cup. It's like buying a venti cup at Starbucks, but like not really a venti cup. It's, I actually feel like it's, Probably just about the same size, to be honest. If you've ever gotten a Starbucks cup, you know what I'm talking about. But here it just says Mr. Iced Coffee and then it gives you a water line and then it gives you like an ice line that I will get into in just a sec. It also comes with its own little filter as well as a little coffee scooper. This is just a serving, it says on there. I think this is the cutest little thing. Like it's literally like, hi, going to get some coffee. And this goes in here. This is what is called the base. This is where all your water goes. So I actually, before you do anything, rinse it. Rinse it with water, rinse these both, just to give everything a nice little cleanse before you use it. After that is all done, you're just gonna go ahead and take your cup and you're going to use whatever type of water that you would like to use up to, you're gonna fill it up to the line. So that's what I'm gonna do in three, two, one. Okay, so filled. Up to the line. Now we're just gonna pour this into the base. And if you're worried that it's gonna overflow, trust me, as long as you fill it up to where the water line is, you will be fine. I had anxiety the first time I was doing this and I was like, oh my God, it's gonna spill. But it literally fills up just perfectly fine. Okie dokie, next. You're gonna put this on top of the base. So where all the water is and it kind of it clicks in really easily you just gotta be careful that it's like really on there don't mess with it too much because it like will slide off now that that is in you're gonna take whatever coffee you want whatever creamer however you drink your coffee you're gonna get your coffee ground and we're gonna fill up this bad boy okay i use starbucks it's just the regular caramel flavored coffee ground coffee and then i'm gonna go in with the starbucks non-dairy almond and oat milk Carmen Macchiato flavored creamer. I'm gonna put the filter in here. And I don't think it really matters which way you put it, to be honest. I kind of just like, <sighs> I can already taste it. I'm gonna take my little scooper and literally just fill it up. We're just gonna shake, shake until we level it out with the actual rim of it. And then you're just gonna plop it into the filter. Ploppity plop. We're gonna close this and then now we fill the entire cup up with ice. It's gonna look like a lot and you're probably like, isn't it gonna water down the coffee? No, and you will see why. Actually don't know, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know, there's something like magical going on here and it's just, it's really, it's really great. We've got our coffee cup aligned in here. We're gonna move this switch. This is gonna open up the little nozzle thing right here and then we're gonna press start and it's gonna take a few seconds to start up. When I first did this, I was like, hello. Oh. <laughs> the only thing about this is that she works at her own pace, but trust me, it's gonna be all worth it. 
you're gonna see the ice melting obviously because the coffee is kind of hot right now but i don't know what the heck it is it does not taste watered down for a very long time she is all finished brewing we're just gonna move this back it's actually pretty good and like not spilling out excess coffee which god now time for my creamer oh love that just fill it up to your liking i kind of i like mine's very sweet i should probably do this That was kind of scary. I thought I was going to drop it. I'm just going to take some packets. I usually just take two. And if I'm feeling that I want my coffee a little sweeter, then I'll go for three, but it's usually just two. Now we're going to mix, mix, mix her up. Mm. Uh, you guys, I swear. If I were to let you guys try what's in my cup, Am I being dramatic? No, because I literally had everybody in my family try what I made and they literally loved it. So do I recommend? Mm hmm. I honestly, I want to say in total, this machine probably took about two to three minutes to brew all of it, which is not that bad if you think about it. If anybody likes to do their coffees in the morning or if they usually want something really quick, this is going to be a lifesaver and a money saver. If you're like me and you're like, I have no money, but I'm going to go and spend it at Starbucks anyway. Now you don't have to. Coffee wise, I really don't think I'll be going to Starbucks or Dunkin' anytime soon. Because I am so grateful for this. Mm. And like, I know that sometimes going to the store and buying actual coffee ground and like creamer can be a hassle to some of us. Like it was for me. But this is going to last you a really long time. Unless you're drinking it like two to three times a day, then maybe you might need a few more bags. But I think this is going to last me quite a while. I honestly don't really know how much it came out to be. And I know that a lot of people have had a hard time finding the machine in general. Like I literally, before I got it as a gift, I was looking everywhere. I was looking at Target, I was looking at Walmart, TJ Maxx, literally almost anywhere that I knew like where they sold coffee makers and I could not find any because they were sold out. I'll link down below where this was found. Where did my mom get this? She got it off a website. I literally remember sending it to somebody a few days ago. I'll look for it. I'll let you guys know. Enough of that for right now. I'm sure you guys are wondering, well, how's the cleanup? Hmm, how's the cleanup? We're gonna start by unplugging this. We're gonna lift and we're gonna use the handlebar that the basket gives us. This is obviously all the coffee. Just rinse it out, wash it how you normally would wash any other dish. I usually have to clean my stuff up right after I use them just because I don't want anything getting stuck or like hardening in there. I'm kind of trying to maintain this in like the greatest condition possible because I will break it. I will break it somehow. I will find a way and it's just not gonna work anymore, but we're not, let's, let's not jinx ourselves. Um, but literally, just rinse it, put some soap in it, wash it, whatever you want. Uh, at the top of the coffee cap thing, there's more directions. They literally give you directions everywhere. I don't even know if you can see that, sorry, just barely. Measure your water, add its base, add the filter and grounds, add the ice, and start it. It's so easy and so good. I'm a very slow like coffee drinker, which is like not the best thing. This lasted me hours, like literally hours. Obviously you can put more ice if you want to. You can do whatever you want with your coffee. This is just how I do it and my personal rating on it. Go do it, buy it, go do it. Especially for my people who like to drink iced coffee when it is like negative 100 degrees outside. You're not gonna need to go out anymore because it's right here. I think that is all I've explained everything that I think I wanted to touch base on. I will again link everything down below if you guys have any questions. Feel free to leave them in the comments and I will do my best to answer. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, share, subscribe, comment, like, share. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys soon.